Welcome back to Survival on Purpose. My name is Brian. Thanks for joining me. I'm here with Blake at Cast Iberia Knives. You may recall we saw Blake. We got to talk to him at SHOT Show this year. And we took a look at um, one of the Kislar Supreme Knives a while back on the channel. And we're here to see what else they've got new. We're at Blade Show 2016. So Blake, what do you got to show us today? We got a few things today. So we'll start off with Kislar Supreme since you already mentioned yeah, that. Cool. Uh, those guys out of Russia, made in Russia. Um, first up, they've got their bloke. Bloke X and Z. This happens to be the Z. These uh, have been seriously upgraded for this year. Um, much bigger liners um, and do a flipper design also, which is a little different. And uh, they're also doing thrust bearings and a nice big uh, pivot on that. So uh, you can do it. Okay, and I want to show you guys something. I thought this was an assisted opening. But it's not. It's it's just it's just running on bearings. There's no spring yeah. to break or nothing like that. And it's that makes it legal everywhere, by the way. As far at least it, legal more places. We'll say that I'm not a lawyer. Um, but but it's a really cool knife. When I saw him flicking, I thought it was an automatic to begin with. All so. right, cool. So this is another one that we're really uh, excited about. This is a collaboration knife that we're doing. We asked uh, Jason Breeden out of uh, West Virginia to uh, design a modern interpretation of the Samurai Fighting Knife, the Tanto. And this is what he came up with. This is the uh, Whisper. This one is um, uh, G10, layered G10 scales, uh, available in D2 and AUS8, and a stonewashed and a black titanium nitride uh, coating. That's it there. I think Jason did a stellar job with that. Very clean lines on this knife. Um, sits in the pocket really good it's just a nice uh it's got a good feel to it and once again it's just a great i mean look at the style of that it's just really cool man like a kind of a japanese style but it's it's a flicks open really good too i like that flick open thing and it looks cool uh for 2016 we started carrying a uh, swedish brand called castrum castrum is uh uh, Swedish forest knife, bushcraft knife. Uh, they got a lot of different um, options on their uh, handle scales, uh, high carbon, uh, and uh, Sandvik uh, stainless steels. You know, s typical Scandi grind uh, and full flat grind. We do uh, these nice matching uh, fire steel setups. But and then this is a really cool feature. This is their you their version this. of a dangler. Uh, they did these uh, custom. Uh, carabiner style dangler so you've got it on your belt you can't see that but you got it on your belt you can uh, pull that off take your knife off use this as a regular carabiner if you want to uh, you know it just goes on up and on really easy and functions really good as a as your typical dangler so it's a good nice setup yeah and i like the fact that you can either you can you can still carry the knife like a regular sheath or you can use it like a dangler so sometimes you yeah. want a dangler sometimes you don't yeah, so let's say that you, you needed your carabiner for something else, you can take that off and put it straight on your on your belt like that. So, so and, and the knife, by the way, I was telling telling Blake, this handle is um the fit and finish on this thing it's got nice liners on it and um it's just smooth and comfortable. This is it begs to be used. That's all I can say. It's just what I like knives, and especially this one. It's pretty cool. I'll show one more from Casper. This is a uh, collaboration knife that they just started, uh, uh, brand new for them, uh, with uh, Ray Harrington out of uh, out of England. It's got these nice uh, bog oak. Let me do that. Scales. Um, just a good size on this knife. Feels good in the hand. It really does. Sure. This is the first one he showed me, and it's just it's, it's, it's lightweight very ergonomic it, it just I'm sure you could carve some really nice feather sticks for that <laughs> it's got a nice sharp spine on it too doesn't it, it does it does so last set I want to show off were uh, these uh, South African made knives called a copy and um, we uh, these are a little bit different they've got some unique styling to them carbon steel blades slip joints very um, very simple setup with a uh, peen pin and uh, and the spring lash works like a regular uh, traditional slip joint and um, 
but uh, you know, very affordable, nice, uh, easy to sharpen. They're uh, 1055 high carbon steel. Um, yeah, I've been carrying one around for a while. They weigh nothing, you know. Uh, but the uh, the wood is actually uh, stabilized, so they're not, you know, it's it's in good shape and uh, stay that way. And, this is a nice pocket knife. And these are going to be like in the sub $20 range for sure. Yeah, about yeah, yeah. So they're, yeah. they're really low in, I say low price knives. Um, and this simple, basic, light, good catch. Lightweight knife. <laughs> cool. I think that's it. Cool. Well, Blake, once again, it's just a pleasure talking to you. Um, thanks again, and it's good, good to too. see you. All right, Brian. Appreciate it, man.